I'm Tony from Inconsult and welcome to a special episode of One Minute Risk Manager. Today I'm in New York and behind me is the Hudson River where on January 2009, shortly after takeoff, a US Airways aeroplane struck a flock of geese and lost engine power and Captain Sullenberger had to land the plane with 155 people on board on the Hudson River. So in this context, let's talk about the difference between inherent risk and residual risk. Inherent risk is the term used to describe the level of risk before any controls or treatment are considered. For most of us, one of the most inherently risky activities we'll ever undertake is simply flying in an aeroplane. Think about it, you're sitting in a 400 tonne piece of metal at 36,000 feet and all gravity wants to do is quickly pull you back down to earth. That's why the inherent risk of flying in an aeroplane is extremely high. There are many potential hazards, the risk of technical failure, computer malfunction, bad weather, bird strikes, pilot error, other aeroplanes, air traffic errors and the list goes on. Residual risk, on the other hand, is a term used to describe the level of risk after the controls or risk treatments are applied. So what controls are in place to reduce the inherent risk of flying down to a lower residual risk level? Regular maintenance, qualified pilots, ongoing training, pilot health checks, radars, GPS navigation, airport security, and so on. So when we think about the quality of these controls, we believe they are effective enough to reduce the inherent risk of flying down to a lower residual risk level. A residual risk level that is now low enough to be within our risk appetite. And hence, we take the risk and fly in a 400 tonne piece of metal. So next time you travel on a plane, remember the importance of effective controls to help bring inherently high risks down to a lower residual risk level. Thank you for watching One Minute Risk Manager. If you think managing risk is too hard, think again. Find out more at inconsult.com.au.